Turkey has made a significant leap in unmanned aerial vehicle UAV technology with a successful integration of the Bayraktar TB3 drone onto its flagship amphibious assault ship, TCG Anadolu. This milestone positions Turkey as a frontrunner in the emerging field of carrier-based drone operations. Over the past decade, Turkey has established itself as a key player in UAV development, with Baykar, a leading Turkish defense company, spearheading the country's advancements. The company's earlier drone models, such as the Bayraktar TB2, have already demonstrated their effectiveness in various conflict zones, handling missions that range from intelligence gathering to precision strikes. Building on this success, Baykar developed the more advanced Bayraktar Akinci, which has further solidified Turkey's reputation in global defense circles. The Bayraktar TB3 represents the next step in this evolution. Unlike its predecessors, the TB3 is specifically designed for operations aboard naval platforms. Its foldable wings enable efficient storage and deployment from naval vessels, making it ideal for shipborne operations. With a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 1,450 kg and a payload capacity of up to 280 kg, including a variety of munitions, the TB3 is a versatile and powerful UAV. It is powered by the indigenous TI PD-170 engine, which enhances its performance and reliability, marking another step in Turkey's push towards self-sufficiency in defense technology. On November 19, 2024, the Bayraktar TB3 achieved a historic first by successfully taking off from and landing on the deck of the TCG Anadolu. This operation, which required no external landing assistance, highlights the TB3's autonomous capabilities. The TCG Anadolu itself, inspired by Spain's Juan Carlos I design, is equipped with a 12-degree inclined ski jump ramp that facilitates short takeoffs and landings, which is crucial for operating UAVs with limited deck space. The successful integration of the Bayraktar TB3 into the TCG Anadolu marks the first time a fixed-wing UAV of this class has operated from a short-deck amphibious assault ship. This achievement signifies a transformative shift in naval aviation. The ability to deploy the Bayraktar TB3 from the TCG Anadolu significantly enhances the Turkish Navy's operational flexibility. It allows the Navy to conduct extended surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike missions without the need for traditional manned aircraft. The integration of the TB3 is especially important given the absence of the F-35B aircraft, which were initially intended for the TCG Anadolu but became unavailable after Turkey was removed from the F-35 program. Turkey's UAV ambitions do not stop with the Bayraktar TB3. The country is already planning the development of the Bayraktar Kizilelma, a jet-powered UAV designed for autonomous air-to-air -air combat. Like the TB3, the Kizilelma will be capable of operating from naval platforms, further expanding Turkey's aerial capabilities. Baykar has also announced plans to invest $300 million over the next five years to develop indigenous jet engines for its UAVs, reducing the country's reliance on foreign suppliers and improving the performance of its drones. The successful integration of the Bayraktar TB3 onto the TCG Anadolu is a clear demonstration of Turkey's commitment to advancing its defense capabilities through indigenous innovation. This achievement not only enhances the operational reach of the Turkish Navy, but also sets a significant precedent in carrier-based drone warfare. As Turkey continues to invest in its UAV technologies, it is poised to shape the future of naval aviation, potentially influencing strategies in defense worldwide.